If you start a statin medication for cholesterol, is it true that you'll never be able to stop it or you shouldn't stop it? You can't stop it. You won't be able to stop it. Um, you know, guys, this is a question that a lot of my patients have been asking me recently. So I realize we need to talk about this. Uh, I'm Dr. Jen. It's good to see you guys. You know, statins have been something that a lot of my patients have been talking about lately. And I know that there must be stuff going on online or other places talking about statins. Many of my patients have asked, hey, I heard that statins are bad, that they're dangerous, that um, they're not good. Uh, also, my patients have said, I've heard that once you start them, you can't stop. What's the truth? First, of all, I have another video that I did on uh, the risks and benefits of statins. Uh, the video literally is about, are statin medications bad? Please watch that video. I will make sure that I link it here. DM me if you don't see it, uh, but it's really important to watch so you can sort of hear the pros and the cons. Let's talk now about whether you can actually stop the medication, okay? I'm not actually sure where it came from that that people started thinking that you can't stop it. Um, to be truthful, guys, most most all medications can be stopped if they need to be. It's just a matter of how they are stopped and risks versus benefits. All right, so let's talk about why someone may want or need to stop a statin in the first place, okay? Um, one of the reasons may be side effects. Uh, potential side effects of statin medications can range from muscle pains to liver issues to other things. I talk about them in this other video I mentioned. Um, if there are side effects or adverse effects that a patient is experiencing, yeah, they may need to stop a statin medication. As doctors, we may be saying, we need you to or want you to stop the medication. Uh, by the way, I'm going to get into sort of how, et cetera, and the risks of stopping it. Uh, what are other reasons? Uh, if a woman becomes pregnant or, 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 or desires pregnancy, you know, um, statins are not to be used, um, you know, in, in, in pregnancy. So that's a reason that we want to stop uh, the medication. Uh, also, uh, other reasons, uh, if, if something improves, if a, if a patient's able to sort of improve their, um, their, their diet, their lifestyle, their keep a healthy weight, whatever, and their cholesterol or their risk factors don't require them uh, to have a statin. Yeah, that's a reason why maybe they've been on a statin, but they were able to get off of a statin. Um, there are other reasons, right? Um, uh, you know, depending on the person's uh, medical makeup, their underlying medical conditions, there's a m many reasons why someone uh, may need to stop a statin at doctor's advice or recommendation, um, not just the patients, okay? But now let's talk about... Um, what happens when one stops a statin? And, and so I, I think we've established, I hope it's clear, yes, statins can be stopped. And sometimes as doctors, we recommend that they are stopped. Now, you all might be asking a different question. You may be saying, no, 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 no. What I mean is if I'm put on a statin, does it mean that I'm going to be taking it forever and ever? You might be thinking about your friends and your family members and saying, gosh, they've been on these statins for years. Is it that I'm never going to get off of them? So that's a different question. Let's talk about that, okay? Remember that um, oftentimes we are putting people on statin cholesterol medications, not just for cholesterol, but also for many people to reduce their risk of cardiovascular disease. What do I mean by that? Statins, you know, improve and reduce risk of things like heart attacks and strokes and other things. Depending on your medical makeup, your conditions, your underlying health conditions, stuff like that, you may benefit from a statin from, say, a mortality standpoint, a risk reduction standpoint, and so much more. Remember, statins don't just lower cholesterol. They actually improve, um, you know, your risk profile when it comes to cardiovascular disease, heart disease, strokes, things like that. That's a big deal. And for many people, statins actually lower the risk of strokes, heart attacks, et cetera. That's a big deal. So when we talk about, oh, I'm never going to be able to get off a of statin, really the question is, is it wise to be off of a statin? What I mean by that is that when statins are stopped, for whatever reason a person has put on them, they're simply not going to get the benefit that they would have gotten from being on the statin. Whether that's number one, cholesterol lowering. It's not to say that you're not going to be able to keep your cholesterol low on your own, but the additional help that the statin offers, well, that's going to go away if you stop the statin. And for some people, that, that concept may be a much higher risk concept than others. The other thing is stopping a statin for many people means that the risk reduction, that sort of cardio protection that you get from being on the statin, the protection of the heart, of the blood vessels and things like that, you're not going to get that when you stop a statin, right? Because you're not taking the medication. So 
when many people I think are asking, hey, I can't stop this if I start it, right? I think what people are thinking about, why do I have to take this forever from a doctor standpoint? We want you to have the cardiac protection, the stroke risk and the heart attack risk and the vascular protection that statins offer forever, which is often why for many people, we don't stop them. It's not that they can't be stopped. It's not that, that it's, you know, whatever. It's that the protection that they offer and the benefits that they give, we want you to continue to have. So can you stop the statin? Sure. But will you receive these potential benefits? No. And for many of us doctors, that's a problem. You know, will you receive the, the cholesterol protection, the cholesterol improvement? No. You know, statin medications, now look, I'm not going to say that they are, um, um, that there's no risks at all. There's nothing but benefit, benefit, but that's, a, that's not true. There's risks and benefits to everything. There's risks and benefits to the most benign medications that are over the counter. There are risks and benefits to Tylenol. Um, so I'm not saying that statins are the end all be all and, and, you know, there's never anything bad. There are uh, people who can't take them, people who shouldn't take them. Um, but my point being is that, yeah, if you need to stop a statin, you can stop it under your doctor's guidance, by the way, that is, you just have to remember that if you stop the statin, it, meaning if it's your choice to stop it, you may not get the, the benefits that many times us uh, doctors are hoping that you will get. And also there are times we as doctors will want to stop your statin because of underlying conditions or things that you have. And we have to weigh that risk versus benefit as well. Um, you know, uh, look, and in the case of a pregnant woman, um, no, I don't want her on a statin, even if it might give cardio protection, that baby comes first. So guys, I hope this is helpful to give a little bit of an idea and perspective about this. There are no hard and fast. There are always shades of gray. And that's what there is even with statins that I want you to know about. Um, the most important thing is that you talk to your doctor about what the deal is, what your deal is, what's going to be best for you and what the risk versus the benefit is for you. Okay. Let me know what you think. This is not uh, the complete total final discussion. This is just uh, the discussion to start for right now. I just wanted to sort of address this topic, at least jump, get a jump on it. Take a look at that other video I was telling you about the video entitled are statins bad. A lot of people think they are, and I don't necessarily agree. They're right for some people, not right for others. Uh, let me know what you think. Please share this video with other people that you believe uh, could benefit from this. Let me know what you do. Let me know if you're on a statin, et cetera, if you had to stop a statin. Um, by the way, if you need to stop a statin, you want to talk to your doctor about how to do that, they will talk to you about this. We'll help you through all of this, okay? I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos and all sorts of stuff. Um, guys, I, on Facebook, please like and follow my page. On YouTube, if you've not subscribed to my channel or click the little bell for updates, please do. Um, also, consider Consider joining my exclusive subscription groups on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook because we do um, like sort of fireside chats and things like that. Um, also, check out my uh, free health newsletter. Go to my website, drjencoddle.com. Guys, I love you. Hope this was helpful. Let me know. Okay, bye.